Hello, my friends. Welcome back. How are you? I hope doing okay. Let's see what I'm up to today, shall we? Well, I received some molds from Into Resin. To, uh, they sent me some molds to review on my channel. I'm still waiting on one of my molds. Into Resin reached out to me and asked if I would let my friends know that if you ordered a mold from them, please be patient. These molds are handmade, my friends, and it takes a long time to make them. They have received so many orders and are trying their best to get everyone's molds out to them. Like I said, I'm still waiting on one of mine. So let's see what which ones I have in here. I know... A bunch of people are doing these molds on their channel so I tried to pick out some that I haven't seen people use which I don't have a lot of time to watch everyone's channel but the ones that I did see um, I didn't see them use these but I'm quite sure someone has used them I just haven't seen it so these are packaged really neat and you get this cute little card share and win Way number one, share photo or video of the finished project, project you made out of Into Resin products to any Resin Art Facebook groups. Send us a screenshot of your post and you are entered to our monthly giveaway. Three to five winners will be randomly picked at the end of each month. Prizes include free products, 50% off coupons, features on our site, social media, etc. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's see what which ones I got. Oh my goodness. This mold looks beautiful, you guys. Can y'all see that sparkle in there? Oh my goodness. That's precious. That is so neat. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see what this one looks like. Not sure. I guess that's just something they put to package it and get it here safely. Oh my, look at that. That is so pretty. I can't wait to cast in these molds. So, let me figure out what we're going to do with these and I'll be right back. Okay, so I picked out these two colors for our flowers. This lemon and this is in the Limino brand. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm sure you can see it on this bottle. And this is resin dye, and we're going to use blue and yellow. Let's do blue in this one, and the yellow in this one. Now this mold right here is super different, you guys. I don't know if y'all can see inside of there but it looks like little feelers or something like I don't know how to describe it almost like the pieces on an octopus ventricle kind of not the big pieces but the little tiny pieces around it it's really really unique in there I have no idea what this is going to give us in our casting but I'm super intrigued <laughs> okay let's go ahead and put our blue in here I just want one drop and I'm going to use a little bit of this uh, glitter right here not much just a teensy weensy bit Probably not even enough to know it's there. I'm just curious to know if it's going to show up with this uh, mold being so um, crystal edges on it. I'm wondering if the glitter is even going to show up in it. Because it may be so... Um, 
it may bounce off the the color may bounce off the mold so much with all of those edges in there that you may not even get to see the glitter so we're going to see we're not going to put any in this one though I, i'm just curious to know what it's going to do in that one i haven't seen anyone use glitter in 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 them yet although i'm pretty sure someone has i just hadn't seen it so i'm going to try it and we're not going to put nothing in this one. Oh, i said that already didn't i let's see if one drop will give me the color i want no let's do two drops Yeah, that's perfect. I'm not going to stir it too much because I don't want to incorporate any bubbles in there because it looks like these are going to be really, really hard to, uh, to keep bubbles out of these areas. There's so many tiny areas up in there and they go deep where I can't even see in there to, to know if there's even a bubble in it. So, um, this is going to be interesting. Some of these, this mold looks tiny, but some of the spaces in it go really deep. So, we'll see. I'm going to let that rest a minute and I'll be back. Okay, let's go ahead and pour the blue one. I'm going to run my heat gun through the cup. And I'm just trying to pour slow here. Real slow. Because each petal I can see fill up. Because this mold I can see through. And I can tell if a bubble is in there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use my heat gun. All right, and I think that one's ready. Now, this one's the one I'm a little worried about, but we're going to give it a go. I'm going to put some spray, uh, spray, <laughs> use my heat gun in the cup. Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and try to get in these areas. Man, this mold is going to be very tricky. Look at that bubble already popping up right there. See it? Wow, this is going to be tricky. Okay, I'm going to use my stick here and I'm not going to touch this mold inside of here. I just need to uh, man that one right there is still holding. There's like a bubble in there. That pedal goes deep. I think I finally got the bubble out of it. OK. 
Okay, and I see one right here. I'm just being very careful, you guys. To unwedge that bubble. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and top this mold off. Okay, I think it's full. Okay, I will see you when they are ready to demold. Okay, I'm back and our flowers are ready to demold. So let's do this one first. Oh my goodness, look how beautiful that is. Oh my goodness, it is beautiful. It's so magical. <laughs> it looks like it belongs in a fairyland somewhere. Oh, it's so pretty. Would y'all look at that? Okay, that is stunning. Good job, Interesin. That is an awesome mold. Awesome. Okay, now let's see what this one looks like. Got a little pedal over here I'm trying to work out. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's this one's different. I love how it's it's realistic looking. Like all the petals aren't perfect. You know? It is stunning. That is beautiful. So beautiful. So we're going to use these flowers in another project. My next video, we're going to be using these flowers. Um, I may make another one of these. A, uh, because I wanted it to be a little bit more um, yellow than it turned out. So I may make another one of these for my next project because the colors I'm using are going to be uh, blue and yellow for my next video. So, um, yeah, we're going to use these beautiful flowers in my next project. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be super cute, you guys. So if you want to purchase one of these molds for yourself, I'm going to uh, have the, the link in my description box below. So yeah, go on over and check these molds out at Interesin and uh, grab you one of these, you guys. They are stunning. But um, just be mindful 
that when you order them, these are handmade. So it, it's going to take a little bit longer to get the mold to you. But hey, it's going to be well worth it, you guys. You are going to love these molds. I, I just adore these two right here. I know I'm going to go over there and, and get me another one. <laughs> these are stunning. So, for those of you who stayed through the entire video, I have no words to express how grateful I am to have you here. I truly appreciate your time. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you for allowing me to be part of it. I hope to see you in the next video. God bless you. Bye-bye, my friends.